All right, so it's day two now <laughs> after those leaks. What a day yesterday was. There's a lot to go over. I want to go over some of these articles. I want to take a look at some of the prominent people in KV who've just really been running Vic through the mud for the past couple of months because those people, those people are the real hypocrites here to talk about. Now, there's something that I do want to stress, okay, because I see a lot of people that are really, really mad right now in... I want to say calm down, okay? I don't think these audio leaks are even that bad. I think most of them are really funny, okay? And I don't think anybody should be losing their jobs over this. I think the point here that everyone needs to understand is the hypocrisy, that how everybody thought they were on some moral high ground plateau, right? That doesn't exist anymore, obviously. Sean Schemmel is the one that really got hit the most from this. And that guy really needs to look in the mirror on how he treats fans, by the way. But for the most part, these are jokes, okay? I don't want to be the joke police. I don't think anybody should be the joke police. The point here is they shouldn't have been the joke police on Vic, right, over the stupid jelly bean joke. A lot of the stuff that they've done, got a little list here to go over, uh, the, the paddle stuff that they've done in front of young people at cons, like Monica when she got paddled, on the behind at a couple of cons. Okay. And then you've got, uh, what's her name from, uh, Evangelion. The one that's always loud screaming at people. She was, uh, taking off all of her stuff in front of, uh, mascots and dancing on stages and, uh, and so on and so on. There's, there's a lot of stuff. The point is it's the hypocrisy, right? That's the point that everyone wants exposed here. I don't think anybody should lose anything. I don't think Vic should have lost anything. But I understand people that don't want to defend them, right? And I don't want to defend them either, but I just think, you know, the point here was to point out hypocrisy. That's what it's all about. Now, it's really funny that Funimation has not said anything about this. I'm really surprised. Uh, we have a comment in an IGN article I'm going to go over. I'm really even shocked that everyone's running around defending all of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these hot takes. Okay, so I have a list of articles that have covered this. We've got one from Heavy, who I've never heard of, never heard of Heavy. We've also got one from Critical Blast. We've got one from Pop Dust. We've got one from The Geekery. Game Rant. They were actually the first to cover it. Actually, these were the first people to talk about them. They're all pretty short and sweet, actually, as well. They just kind of take the the basis of what's going on. Some of them, they'll talk about the Vic stuff towards the end, and that's it. They do ask a good question here. <laughs> Will this have any impact on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? I would say probably not. That's my opinion. But then we come to comicbook.com, and of course they cover this. Every little stupid theory they think up on the toilet becomes an article over at comicbook.com when it comes to Dragon Ball Super. They're not going to miss a chance to do a Dragon Ball article. They covered it. It's, it's also a quick short one. They talk about Vic a little bit right here towards the end. I mean, I don't think there's a way you can really cover this without talking about Vic. And then we get to the big one, IGN. This is the biggest outlet that's talked about it so far. It was even updated at 8.40 p.m., and uh, to their credit, they even cite Nick Ricada here and give a link to his YouTube channel for the video. Uh, that's the first time I've seen one of these outlets do that. Usually they don't do that at all. So uh, I will give them props for that, for sure, for actually doing that. But the big statement here, and why I'm going to make this the title of the video, is Funimation is trying to dance around this. So they reached out and they actually got... A comment from Funimation, among the alleged leaked recordings are the voices of Krillin, Mr. Popo, Yamcha, Mr. Satan. Uh, they should have put Goku and stuff in there and Piccolo. Well, Sabbath does half of these characters anyway. Uh, but so Sonny Strait, Chris Rhaegar, uh, Monica Rial, Sean Schemmel, Chris Sabbath. Uh, what's her name that does Chi Chi? I don't know her name. All of those names are in here. So IGN reached out to Funimation concerning the recordings, to which the company responded, Funimation has no comment regarding your story. As we do not have official information from Funimation, 
We cannot confirm the validity of these recordings, though the performances appear to be identical to those in the Dragon Ball franchise. Oh, it is them. <laughs> it's 100% them. 100%. But it's funny. Funimation has no comment regarding their story, so they're not going to talk about it. It trended all day on Twitter. They never made one comment. They were watching, though. They actually liked a couple of posts on accident, and we've seen that already on Twitter. Uh, they were definitely watching. Well, they should be watching, right, to go with their old logo? They should be watching because I don't think this is done yet. Uh, you're for sure going to see other outlets pick up on this, I think. I think 100% Polygon and Kotaku are going to pick this up because there's no way they won't talk about that. There's no way. That word and Dragon Ball <laughs> in, a, in an article, those are some big keywords right there. There's no way they won't pick it up. Funimation is going to have to talk about it eventually because this got too big. But it's really funny to me that they've went the entire day, never made a comment on this. But, you know, they just had to come out and make comments about Vic. Remember that? Remember, oh, well, we're going to have to separate contracts with him because we we have a, a, an inclusive environment here. Well, those jokes that your team was making in those recordings, those weren't very inclusive. Those weren't very inclusive at all. So how long until they talk about it? Well, they're going to have to be forced to talk about it. I'm surprised that they dodged IGN like this. I think they're thinking it'll die over. But we know Tony's going to find out about it. So let's take a look at some comments. First stop on the hypocrisy train will be Reset Era. Now, they're going to be fun to talk about because they're the biggest creatures on the internet, in my opinion. Reset Era can actually get a game company to bend the knee. Time and time again, they've done it. Managed to get Ion Fury to do a back and forth recently. Uh, they're by far the biggest problem in the gaming industry and a few others obviously any hobby uh they're always slithering around like a bunch of snakes none so none should be surprised though when you find out that this thread that they did started yesterday at 409 p.m is only at five pages now if this had been any other thing this had been at 30 pages now i looked at through i looked through all five of these and they pretty much brush everything off except for Sean Schemmel's comments. And only two people are, like, are mad about it. Everybody else is like, heck no. Kick Vic, baby. Vic Mignana put him in the mud again. So it's almost like when you're a company or a group of people, you accumulate woke points. And it's like, well, we're just going to subtract a few of the woke points there, buddy. And uh, you'll be good to go. So they're not, they don't care. They don't, even, they don't even want Funimation to say anything. They could care less. The only one that they're kind of upset with is Sean Schemmel because they said the bundle of sticks word. And even that, not a big deal to them. They say, oh, those are just uh, whatever 2000s hot cringe takes or whatever. As normal people, <laughs> as normal people would act. So they act like normal people as long as as uh, it doesn't detract away from whoever they're trying to destroy. So since these clips are distracting from Vic Mignogna, uh, they're trying to brush that under the rug. This is, this is the point. This is what we're all talking about. Hypocrisy. So we head over to the usual suspects. We see <laughs> more pictures of DC Douglas drinking alone in a bar. I got to take pictures of myself drinking in a bar so people know I'm happy. Right. Right. Uh, no disavowalment, no apologies, no saying that this behavior is bad, but I still like them. They just ignore it like they do with every bombshell. It gets ignored. I guess it shouldn't be surprising at this point, but the whole point of this is to point out the hypocrisy, right? To show that, you know, they're just going to brush it under the rug and if they do anything, we can head over to Sean Schemmel. He stays quiet, doesn't say anything, probably was told to. We head over to Chris Sabat, doesn't apologize, doesn't say anything, just going to brush it under the rug. But, but Vic wishes he could have brushed all this under the rug. 
head over to uh, Renfamous. Does the same thing that Mars Girl was doing. Make sure, just like Greg Duchetti here, goes ahead and does hashtag Funimation and the other hashtags, and they want to make sure that stuff that is bad on Vic trends with the audio clips. So that's really the goal there. It's just kind of funny. But anyway, this really shouldn't surprise anybody, right? So, I mean, I guess nobody should be surprised here that this is going down. They're just, ha with the Funimation hashtag, all they're doing is putting bad stuff about Vic with it so that that carries with it. Uh, the, the real interesting thing for me, and maybe they'll say something today, I don't know. They've been really quiet about it, though, is Funimation. Are they going to comment? They've already dodged it now. So I'm, like, recording this, you know, the morning or the night before I go to sleep. So if something breaks when I release this video, I don't know what's going to happen. All right, I have no idea if they're going to drop it or not. I'll update in the description if they do. But I think they're going to try to brush this under the rug. If IGN is the only big outlet that talks about this, it's pretty much it. They're just going to brush it away, and that'll be it. Funimation uh, will likely not have any issues from this. The only people that are going to be a potential problem for them is Toei Animation, which we'll see what happens with them. We'll see what happens with them. But remember, this isn't about getting people fired or anything like that. The point of all of this, all of this, is to show the hypocrisy of all these people, how it, it only matters when they're against the person. You don't see anybody going after Sean Schemmel. And I got to say, the stuff he said, his bundle of stick stuff was far worse than Vic's jelly bean stuff and stupid hugs. And Sean Schemmel's got a clear history of saying that stuff. He said it in a couple different things. He said it in a Berserk episode, I think it was. Somebody showed me. Uh, maybe it was Soul Eater. I don't know. He said it in some outtakes for a different show. And uh, he did it with He-Man. And there was another instance where he did it. And now you have him doing it in these Dragon Ball outtakes. He's got a clear history of doing it. They don't care. It's clearly only when it's people they don't like that they care. Their moral ground, their moral high stand that they have, that's gone. Okay, they don't have that. Now they're brought down, they're brought down a bunch of pegs. So... Anyway, we'll keep watching. This will probably be the last video on this subject unless a big outlet picks it up like Polygon, Kotaku, BuzzFeed. Some of those outlets, if they pick it up, it'll be worth talking about again because, well, those are outlets that can get damage done. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're still subscribed. Check out my Twitch, Yellow Flash Comics. Uh, let me know your takes on this. Share the video. Let's try to keep this Funimation thing going for as long as possible. The trend has died down, but I think uh, we should try to keep it going. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Peace.